Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. Okay, no nuts to squirrels, but Keenan Redmond, uh, Keenan, you milk, you milk donkeys. That's right, Joe. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. And tell us, well, how, what, what were you doing when you first started milking the donkey? What were you up to? How does it work? How does it work? Yeah. We, we have a, a quail farm in Leitrim. So we, uh, it was started by a lady, Tina Lass, in 2013, and we supply quail eggs around the country. Now, Tina's quite creative, and she started making soaps on the kitchen table. And she knew about the benefits of donkey's milk. Now, you, you okay. may have heard the story about Cleopatra. So she kept 700 donkeys because she would bathe in it on a oh, daily yeah. Okay. And uh, it's long been known for its health benefits. And how much milk would you get in a session off a donkey? Well, okay, so I, on average you get one to one and a half litre a day. Now, we find with a happy donkey, uh, yeah. we wait until the, basically until the foal has had its fill. And she, the donkey actually won't produce milk until she knows that the foal is, is full. And oh, happy. great, okay. And then she gives you a bit, then we take a bit more. And, she, and with a happy donkey, you can get up to three litres a day. Now, we only take a small part of that and we put it into our donkey milk soaps. And is is the donkey milk uh, just, uh, ingestible by, yeah, by well, humans? Oh, absolutely. Well, it's been known for... Uh, I don't know, you, you know, Hippocrates was a, a Greek doctor. He's the founding father of medicine. Okay. So it's three and a half thousand years ago, the Hippocratic Oath that doctors take, saying they will look after everybody that they see. Uh, he prescribed it for up to 35 illnesses, from asthma to upset stomachs, sensitive skin, uh, psoriasis, even now auto kids with uh, people with autoimmune okay. diseases. So it, it helps whether you drink it or whether you put it on your skin. It's great for the body. What's it taste like? It's actually, it's like a skimmed milk, so it's light, but it's got a nice sweet taste. So kids love love it. Uh, it's, it's actually really easily digestible. The pH of donkey milk is actually almost identical to human breast milk. So it's actually mm-hmm. a, a, an easier fit for us than the reason we, we drink cow's milk is a cow will give you 25 litres a day. Okay. So commercially, it's more viable. But uh, donkey milk is almost like having human mother's breast milk. And is it passed by the people who pass donkey milk, so to speak? The, 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 in terms of regulations yeah, and so on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's fully, it's all fully certified. It's pasteurised. Um, we, at the moment, we're buying some in from a di- couple of different farms, and that's all, they, they dehydrate it uh, into powder, and then we rehydrate it. But it's completely, it's actually, it's got great uh, anti uh, sorry, antibacterial qualities. So it's... Um, Okay. All round, and, it's incredibly healthy and, is it and it's do- all certified and so on. And where do you get your donkeys? Well, we've got some donkeys here, but at the moment we have the quail farm, which so we're supplying okay. around the country and we're, we're supplying 70 stores around the world now with this donkey milk. So we're too busy to be milking donkeys. We need quite a lot of donkeys. So we buy it in from two or three different farms at the moment. Two, and two or three donkey farms? That's it's right, a yeah. thing, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, they, yeah, and how they, do you make a donkey happy? Like you're saying, the donkey has to be. You sit there singing, "Let it snow, let it snow, let it do Christmas <laughs> numbers." What do you? You know, <laughs> donkeys are. They. I was going to. I was speaking to your researcher Rebecca. Yeah. And she was saying, you know, tell us all about donkeys. The reason donkeys were originally called asses because ass is oh. the Latin asinine, meaning dumb or stubborn. Okay. So they've got a reputation for that, but they're actually very, very independent, and they they're just they just like to do their own thing. Um, as any animal te- lover will tell you, you know when your animal is happy. You know if it's eating well, if it's if it's comfortable, if it's relaxed. And the reason we know that these donkeys are happy is they're milked when the foal is alongside them, okay. and the mother instinctively knows. The foal is happy. Or safe. It's had its foal. It's got okay. a foal okay. me, and then it gives us a little bit extra milk. So, and and can you, by the way, if you, if you get yeah. milk, can you make cheese? Oh yeah, donkey milk cheese is, is very expensive. It, you see, it, as I was saying, uh, uh, you only get one to three liters a day, and a donkey is pregnant for eleven to fourteen months, and then wow. for the. Well, then she has her foal, and the foal has exclusive access to, to the mother for the first three months. And it's only when the foal starts weaning off onto grass or, you know, like any human or animal, yeah. um, then we take a little bit. So we only get a, a small window of two to three months every two years, maybe. So you, 
meaning it's very hard to get donkey's milk uh, and it's expensive. And you can get the cheese, but it is expensive. Um, we're, we're going to start providing it in the next few months because we've had so much demand, both mm-hmm. for the soap and also for people saying, I want to drink this as well because of its health benefits. Okay, by the way, Keenan, when I have you there, what's the difference between a donkey and when you, you explained an ass, it's the same mm. thing. Well, what mm. about a mule and a ginnet? Okay. And well, a hinny. So, what's a hinny? Okay, well, Jesus, hang on, Joe, I'll tell you now. Okay. Uh, so, so, okay, so a ginnet is, is Jenny. That's the, mo- that's the female, right? A of, jack the, of the what? Is, of the donkey. Okay. So a donkey, a female is called a ginnet or a jenny. A male is called a jack. And that's where jackass comes from. It's a male donkey, a jackass. Okay. Now, what they found was, they, they found uh, donkeys have been very popular, especially with poorer farmers, because the donkey uh, digests 95% of what it eats. So you could put it out on a bit of scrapland and it'll eat, you know, everything, weeds, uh, trees, okay. everything. Uh, but it can digest it all. So it's got a very diverse um It doesn't diet. recycle it immediately. We, no, but it, yeah, it, okay. it can consume everything and... I think that might be why the stuff is so good. The milk is so good because it's got so many uh, vitamins and nutrients in it. But uh, they're very strong. Uh, a donkey, for its body weight, is twice as strong as a horse. A horse the same wow. size. And what's a mule then? Okay, so what they started doing thousands of years ago, the Turks, they would take a male horse and they a would horse, okay. mate it with a female donkey. And that's a mule. So they came up with something that was incredibly strong Okay. Big, bigger than a donkey, but not as stubborn as a donkey. But it, it, they wouldn't have to f- uh, spend as much money feeding it as they would a horse. So a mule is, half, okay. is halfway between a donkey and a horse, and it's a great, great at working, very strong, um, and doesn't cost as much as, I say, as a horse to and feed. And what happens if a mule goes out with another mule? Do they have offspring? Can they? Uh, they can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's, the other version is, uh, it's, I think it's called a hinny, and yeah. that's where you mix a... Um, a female horse with sorry the other way around it's it's a, a a male horse with a female donkey they don't do as well but the jackasses the you know the male donkeys are great at say impregnating uh, female horses and that gives you a mule and they're they're very strong so the male donkey the male donkey <laughs> is very the male donkey is a survivor and he's good he, and he would be very keen the, to meet a female horse Hundred percent, and he and then will. You, he will the, pursue. The, yeah. So then you get a big donkey, and it, and they're it's a mule, and they're great workers, and they don't eat as much. And, okay. And, and so, and also they can go for. Apparently, they can carry, you know, eighty kilos, and they can go for twenty six miles without Fair rest. They're, they're, they've got uh, stamina. So, so we so should we, we should try. You often see donkey farms where poor donkeys are abandoned. Uh, well, no, the, no. The, in fairness, the people it, on the donkey farms are minding the abandoned yeah. donkeys. Is that what I mean? Yeah. That's what I mean. Well, that's it. One of one of the uh, people that sell our, our donkey milk soaps are the Donegal Donkey Sanctuary, and they're always getting calls. You see, the donkeys are so resilient. That yeah, but why are they why are they mistreated? Uh, some people leave animals out, just as with dogs. It's, it's not it's not just particularly donkeys. You can buy a donkey for 150 euro at the mart. You can put it out on a piece of land. And remember I told you, they'll eat anything. anything yeah. So people sort of just, some you know, if the wrong person has one, they might forget about it. Um, but equally, there are, there are tons of people, you know, we had, I grew up with a donkey, Annabelle, we had her for 35 years, and so she was part of the family. You know, the, the people, animals... How long, how long do donkeys live? They, you know, 20, 25 years is a good inning. So Annabelle went for 35 years, and... Uh, she was, you know, she used to eat alongside the dogs and she would walk, nearly walk into the house, you know. So they've become part of the family. Um, now, we love our animals and it's just... Okay, well we, done. What's, I, the, what's your donkey milk soap branded as? The donkey milk... Okay, so if, if listeners go to 12quailfarm.com, one, okay. two, and they can see both our quail eggs and the donkey milk soap. The, okay. the main reason I called you up actually was because I wanted to encourage people to look for local and to buy local. Yeah, okay, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Where are you based again? We're based down in County Leitrim. Okay. So we're selling both online and we sell in 70 retailers in the States, Canada, Ireland, Europe and so on. And is there anyone else in Ireland doing donkey milk? Um, nobody doing donkey milk soap. Uh, there's, there's, there there okay. is a, a goat milk soap, but the big difference with our soaps is they're not bars of soap. They're individual sculptures. So if you see them on our site, they're all little shapes. So we combine mm-hmm. the benefits of donkey milk with individual sculptures. So they make great gifts. 
Okay, and, and Irish handmade soap is a great gift this year. Well, people love that the story, it's made on the farm, it's made in Ireland. Yeah. For every hundred euro you spend in an Irish company, uh, it translates into 500 euro that circulates around our community. Whereas if you go to, you know, a, an online retailer from the UK or somewhere, you spend 100 euro, that's gone out of the country. Whereas okay. 100 euro here turns into 500 and it pays for kids' presents and pays for people's wages and so on. So so your, your, your what's your website? Is it 12 quail? Farm. 12quailfarm.com that's the one and it's definitely up and running oh we've, we've been up and running for 18 months now okay. and we're sending okay. stuff out okay. around the world that's fascinating that's fascinating um, thank you. the whole thing about donkeys and jinnets and mules and hinnies and horses and the, the, the male mule trying to get the female horse to tomangos or whatever uh, <laughs> it'll do, work really really hard but anyway Keenan, best of luck with your business fantastic and lovely you, lovely stats there about the money we spend in Ireland ok that's Keenan Redman 51551 wash your hands and handmade soap thank you cheers talk to Joe on 1850 715 815